The Auto Club reports that 34.8 million Americans plan to travel at least 50 miles from home over the weekend. This is point, a 0.9 percent drop from last year's number. Uh, 31.2 million are expected to hit the road via car, which is a slight increase from 2012. So uh, what advice can we give or get on traveling this holiday weekend? Joining us now, travel expert Kathy Banks. And Kathy, good morning. Good morning to you. Any tips for us what we should do or shouldn't do this weekend? Gas prices have skyrocketed. Uh, that, that, is that one of the reasons why the, uh, the increase is not, not that much from people traveling well, versus last year? On average, nationwide, gas prices are about two cents lower than they were last Memorial Day weekend. Mm. It's, um, the, the way it's been through the year has been strange. The way we got to the same price is different in 2013 than 2012. But oh, overall, nationwide average, two cents a gallon cheaper this year than last year. I think part of the reason less people are traveling, one, you know, the economy is still kind of up and down. And even people that are employed, you know, that payroll tax holiday ended and so everyone's paycheck went down just a little bit at the beginning of January. So people have a little bit less money, which also explains why more people are driving and less people are flying. Of course, another thing, another reason for that is, you know, flying used to be such an event and now it's more something, just a way to get from point A to point B and it's gotten harder and harder and more confusing with all the fees and, the hassle with getting through the TSA lines, which are getting longer and longer. So there's a variety of reasons. Yeah, you know, I've always had the uh, the feeling that uh, Memorial Day weekend, uh, when we, you know, when we had the cabin, uh, it was the the weekend, the big weekend to open up the cabin if it hadn't been opened up before. But don't mo don't most people stay closer to home for this particular holiday weekend? I think a lot of people do, definitely, because for one thing, I think in a lot of parts of the country, I know here where I am, school isn't quite out yet. You know, mm -hmm. the kids still have to go to school for a few days next week, so it isn't like we're free. It's not like the real beginning of summer. It's just kind of the first taste. Yeah. Uh, Eight percent fewer people are, are flying this weekend, and, and uh, I was wondering if it was because of the TSA, and you mentioned that. Uh, the cost to fly, has it gone up in the last year, or is it about the same? It's really flat, but I also the fees, and it isn't just a dollar amount of all the different fees, but it's how confusing it is. People don't know what to expect anymore when you mm -hmm. decide that you're going to fly some, somewhere. Now, that's interesting. So what are you doing this holiday weekend? You know, we, we yeah. after all, we all do live vicariously through you. <laughs> well, if you want to do that, then what you're going to do is every peak holiday time, you will stay home. <laughs> See, that's coming from, uh, from an expert. Yep, that's exactly right. We, we just don't travel during peak times. Yeah, probably only a good idea. Why aggravate ourselves, right? Exactly, and it's, yeah. it's a nice three-day weekend to be home. It really is, and you know, a lot of people you're you're really digging into your uh, your yard and you know outside uh, upkeep and that kind of thing. I know that's what we're going to be doing. So, all right, Kathy, thank you very much. If we want to learn about you, do you have a website or anything? You bet, LegacyTravel.com. Very good. Where is Legacy Travel located out of? We're outside of Dallas, Texas. Very good, Kathy. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and have a good weekend. Thank you. Happy holiday. You too. Thank you. Kathy Banks, a travel expert. I like her the way she thinks.